There are a lot of valid reasons why someone would want to run Android emulators on their PC. App developers may be trying to test their application before shipping it out. Gamers may want to use a mouse and keyboard on their games. Here are the best Android emulators for PC and Mac. The problem is that, no emulators run the latest versions of Android. Most of them run something around Android Oreo or Android Nougat. Most modern apps and games run perfectly fine on those versions of Android, so there isn't the biggest push for the most recent Android. LD Player. LD Player is an Android emulator for gamers, running Android Nougat 7.1. It features the usual array of gamer-oriented features, including good keyboard mapping controls, multi-instance, macros, high FPS, and graphical support. This is one of the few emulators on the list that gets active updates nearly every month. It supports a wide range of games, including Arena Free Fire, Clash of Clans, Black Desert Mobile, and many others. In the latest versions, LD Player has optimized the performance of Free Fire to make it much easier to pull off the auto headshot, which has made it a growing favorite among Free Fire players. Android Studio's Emulator Android Studio is the default development console for Android. It comes with a bunch of tools to help developers make apps and games specifically for Android. As it turns out, there is also a built-in emulator that you can use to test out your app or game. The setup is rather complicated and it can take a long time. Thus, it's not one we would recommend for consumer-level use. However, developers can simply use this tool as their emulator for testing their apps. It also supports Kotlin in case developers want to try that out. It's too much of a pain for regular people, but it's excellent for developers. The Archon. The Archon isn't a traditional emulator. You install it as a Google Chrome extension. It then gives Chrome the ability to run Android apps and games, albeit with limited support. It's not an easy emulator to get running. You'll have to install the thing to Chrome. From there, you have to obtain APKs and load them in. As an added rub, you may need to use a tool to change the APK in order to make it compatible. There are a lot more steps to make this work than most other Android emulators for PC. On the plus side, though, it works with any operating system that can run an instance of Chrome, Mac OS, Linux, Windows, etc. Bliss OS. Bliss is something a little bit different. It works as an Android emulator for PC via virtual machine. However, it can also just flat run on your computer through a USB stick. The boot from USB option is definitely a power user option, and not recommended for less intense use cases. As a VM install, the process is easy, but tedious if you've never made your own virtual machine before. The USB installation method is even more complicated, but it lets your computer actually run Android natively from boot. That makes Bliss a super unique emulator if you can make it through the steps to the end. The system runs Android Oreo, and that's among the newer versions of Android offered on an emulator. Bluestacks. Bluestacks is the most mainstream of all Android emulators. There are several reasons for that. For starters, it's compatible with Windows and Mac. It was also one of the first that worked really well that still gets regular updates. The emulator targets mobile gamers. There is a stigma with Bluestacks because it can feel a little bloated at times. Bluestacks 4, launched in 2018, aimed to fix that with mixed results. It also includes key mapping and settings for many games installed. That should help make things much easier. It's one of the heaviest emulators on the list. However, it also has the most features for better or for worse. Bluestacks also made the MSI App Player, another excellent emulator that some believe works better than vanilla Bluestacks. Gameloop. Gameloop, formerly known as Tencent Gaming Buddy, is an Android emulator for gamers. In fact, it's good enough that Tencent calls it the official emulator for its games, including Call of Duty. Mobile and PUBG Mobile. Of course, it features other games aside from Tencent's, although its collection isn't as big as it could be. The emulator downloaded and installed fine, and the games we tested ran just fine. This one is not good for productivity or developmental testing. However, if you have an itch for mobile FPS gaming along with some titles, this is actually a fairly decent gaming emulator, and it boasts a good collection of newer titles. Plus, the keyboard controls and performance is good. Genomotion. Genomotion, this Android emulator is mostly for developers. It lets you test your apps on a variety of devices without owning them. You can configure the emulator for a variety of devices with various versions of Android to help suit your needs. For instance, you can run a Nexus 1 with Android 4.2 or a Nexus 6 with Android 6.0.
You can easily switch between virtual devices at will. It's not great for consumer uses, but Genomotion does offer their services for free for personal use. Its most useful feature is its availability on both your desktop computer and the cloud. Those without powerful computers can make Genomotion servers do all the work for them. Memu. Memu is another of the up-and-coming Android emulators that seems to do quite well with gamers. One of its biggest features is support for both AMD and Intel chipsets. Most work on AMD processors, but it's nice to see developers specifically pay attention to AMD's platform. Additionally, it supports Android Jelly Bean, Kit Kat, and Lollipop. You can even run multiple instances at once for multiple games or testing features. It aims itself at gamers much like Bluestacks and similar emulators. However, it's also quite usable as a productivity tool as well. Its most recent update was in mid-November 2019, and that update it added smart key mapping, along with the usual performance improvements and bug fixes. Nox. Nox is another Android emulator for PC for gamers. That includes the usual stuff like key mapping with your keyboard, actual controller support, and even the ability to key map gesture controls. For instance, you can assign the function to swipe right to an arrow key, and use that in a game without actual hardware controller support. It's a lot of fun and seems to work rather well most of the time. It's also entirely free and in active development. Phoenix OS. Phoenix OS is one of the newer Android emulators for PC. Like most these days, it boasts a gamer experience. However, it also boasts a desktop-like experience, so it actually works pretty well for productivity as well. It has Google Play services, although updating those services can be a bit of a pain sometimes. That means you get every app and game in the Google Play Store. Phoenix OS also runs Android 7.1, which is relatively modern for an Android emulator. You can download the emulator from its official website, and its forums are housed on XDA developers. PrimeOS PrimeOS is kind of a standout in the Android emulator space. It's not actually an emulator. You install this as a partition on your computer, and it boots up running native Android. It's a gamer-focused Android experience, although you can totally use this for productivity if you really want to. Premios includes a gaming center, support for mouse and keyboard, and access to most Android apps and games. It almost runs like Chromios minus all the Chrome ports. You can multitask, watch video content, or play games as you choose. It is new in 2019 from an Indian startup. Remix OS Player Remix OS Player by Jide is one of the newer Android emulators for PC. It runs Android Marshmallow, and that's still relatively new compared to many of the others on the list. The installation process is pretty simple and using it also fairly easy. It caters mostly to gamers. There are a few gamer-specific features along with a customizable toolbar. It boasts features like running multiple games at once. That said, it's a fairly clean emulator, so it's still perfectly usable as a productivity tool. The site seems to be down, and we're relatively certain Remix OS Player isn't in active development anymore. Xamarin. Xamarin is an IDE similar to Android Studio. The difference is that it can plug into things like Microsoft Visual Studio for an even larger development environment, for better or for worse. Also, like the Android Studio, this comes with a built-in emulator for app or game testing. In case it wasn't readily apparent, we only recommend this one to developers. The setup is simply too tedious for regular consume use. Xamarin's emulator is not as powerful as something like Genomotion, but it'll get the job done if you intend on using this, and it's also configurable for your needs. It's free for personal use. U-Wave U-Wave is one of the older Android emulators for PC. It's been around for a long time. Its last update was in 2016, though. That makes it fairly current. The free version uses Ice Cream Sandwich. Forking out the $29.99 will get you the Lollipop version. The installation process is easy enough. It doesn't have any game-specific features, but it will still play games. That makes it good for light gaming and productivity. Free version works nicely for those who want an older emulator that runs older Android. VirtualBox. As it turns out, you can build your own emulator. You need to download VirtualBox. You then have to download an image from androidx86.org. From there, it's just a matter of finding one of the many guides online and following the steps. This is easily one of the more difficult methods, but still not quite as tedious or difficult as setting up a whole IDE like Android Studio or Xamarin. 